he lives. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. After Jesus has sacrificed himself for us, for the forgiveness of what we have done wrong, after they had put him to the cross to be crucified and to be sacrificed to shed the blood for us, after they had put him into the tomb, on Easter day he arose. It is unbelievable, it is improbable, our mind cannot capture it. But the joy is bigger for everybody who puts his faith in him. There was the mighty angel, he came down. Matthew 28 verses 2 to 3, suddenly there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled the stone away and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were like white as snow. We cannot understand it, but it is bigger. God is bigger than all that we can imagine. Probably God gave the order to that angel, go into the visible world, move the stone, open the way for the sun to come out to have his way. The hour of life has come, all death has been overcome, all sin has been overcome. All evil forces has, has been overcome. Heaven has come and hell has been overcome. The soldiers, they are even not taken care of. They are supposed to guard the tomb, but what can they do? They faint. The angel does not need to ask the authorities in the world power city in Rome, whether they approve the resurrection, what is their opinion about it. The priests and the Pharisees, the whole church, they do not need to be asked whether the resurrection will support their religious life or not. The scholars, the Pharisees, they shall see how the resurrection can fit into their worldview. That all does not matter. God simply does the great deeds. He created the world, he created the universe, all the animals and everything that lives. And he also has won the victory over all evil things, over death, over sin, over hell, over the enemies. Jesus is risen. The soldiers, they faint. Pilate don't know what to do. The priests, the Pharisees don't know what to say, what to do. But the disciples, they are glad to see the Lord. They were filled with joy. Do we also be filled with joy? Lord, we praise you. We thank you and we are filled with great joy that you have won the victory over all the evil things, over all persecution, over all evil and bad that harms our lives. Thank you for all that you give. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you for your rising, that we can know that you are the Lord of life. You want to give us a fulfilled life here on this earth as well as in eternity. Praise be to you forever. Amen.